Okay, this is a reaction video. English words Americans learn living in Germany. Can Germans speak English? This is from Passport 2. Please click like, share, and subscribe for them as well as down there for me. I would appreciate it. Have a good... Let's take a look what's going on here with uh, uh, Passport 2. How well do Germans speak English? Do Germans speak British English? or Amer Well, they... they they speak English. I mean, it's actually pretty good English, actually, when, 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 you, when, you, when, you, when you think about it. Uh, uh, when I was there, there were a lot of Germans there that spoke pretty good English. American English. Do I need to be able to speak German to live in Germany? These are all questions we've had, and we have the answers. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie. And I'm Aubrey. And we are two Americans currently living in Germany and sharing all of our experiences living and traveling throughout Europe. There are a lot of questions we get asked about living in Germany, particularly relating to language. The first, do I need to be able to speak German to travel or live in Germany? Or can I get by with just English? We have an answer for that question, but we also have dug a little bit deeper and found some. Now I've told the story when I was at a, at a Burger King at a, uh, in, in Berlin, I went up and to order a double cheeseburger and get a, get a drink. And the girl there was like, you know, like once I started talking was like, didn't understand me, put it and then brought somebody over who, who did so? Um, you can get a lay in Germany without speaking English, without without speaking German. Really interesting aspects of the way that Germans speak English that is actually very surprising and unexpected. We also get asked if we speak German, and that is usually followed up by, I mean, you are fully immersed in the culture, so you have to be learning German. So today we are going to talk about this topic in our personal experience with traveling through Germany as people who spoke no German, moved here speaking no German, and what our experience is now as people living in Germany who can speak German. Kind of. In our video, Germans and English, do they speak the Queen's English? And do I need to speak German to travel and or live there? First, we want to address where we are drawing our experiences from. As many of you know, Donnie studied abroad in Germany in college and he very much only spoke English. Then after we got married, we did some extensive traveling throughout Germany in 2018 and 2019 that took us from South Germany throughout Bavaria to West Germany in the areas around Cologne and Bonn, North Germany in Hamburg and Schwerin, as well as technically East Germany in Berlin, but we all know. Now I've been to Berlin, I've been to Cologne, I've been, the farther south I've been was Kaiserslautern, I think, it was the farther south that I've been. Berlin is a unique situation in and of itself. While doing this traveling, we had the experience of traveling in Germany only being able to speak English. Then we got the opportunity to live out our dream to actually move and live in Germany over a year ago in Southwest Germany. While living here, we have traveled all over Germany extensively. And again, when we moved here, we spoke basically no German. However, since moving here, I have taken part in an intensive German course to try and rapidly get me where I could speak the native language of our host country. We're talking four hours a day, every day of the week. And I have even made three videos completely in German that you all could check out. And I have also been slowly learning German, although not as intense as Donnie, but in a combination of online classes and in-person classes in our community. So all this to say, we have a ton of experience as people that exclusively spoke English traveling in all regions of Germany, as well as living in Germany as people that didn't speak German. And now we still live here, but can converse in German to some extent. With this intense time we have spent with Germans from all parts of Germany, we have started to figure out interesting trends when it comes to Germans and their language abilities, experience, and use. So now that you know our experience and why we feel that we can talk a little educated on the subject, can Germans speak English? Again, they really can. They can speak better English than Americans can speak German, that's for sure. 
Okay, based on some of the most recent figures, about 56% of Germans report that they can conversationally speak English. This number is relatively high, but whenever you compare it to some of Germany's neighbors like Austria, Denmark, or especially the Netherlands, this number may not suddenly seem as high. We also know that Germans have a tendency to downplay how good their English is. It is completely not uncommon to ask a German if they speak English and they start with a little bit, then they speak with the eloquence of someone who has spoken there. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how many Germans that I ran to could speak English and, and, and speak it very well and almost sound, you know, almost have a very, how can I put it, um, they have a German dialect, you can, you can hear the German dialect in it, but it sounds very, very, almost American. You know, a, a, a close to American accent. You could, you, could, you could see the German dialect, but it's still very, very well. It's not, it's not British English. It was, it was American type English. So at least that's what I, how I took it their whole lives. So it could be possible that some of these numbers are lower because people didn't rate themselves as highly as their abilities actually would allow them to rate themselves. There is also a breakdown that people make between former East and West Germany and the amount of English that is spoken between these two regions. You will often hear that you will not find nearly the same amount of English speakers in former in, in, in the East than you will in the West, yeah. Soviet East Germany because learning English was discouraged while the Russians were in control of this region, and rather Russian was required in the schools. But surprisingly, we found this map online showing the actual distribution of English being spoken in Germany. It may be divided more into North and South, with Northern states having a higher concentration of those that can speak English conversationally versus the South of Germany, with the exception of Baden-Württemberg. <laughs> But after getting the data out of the way, what is our experience with English in Germany? We can honestly count the number of times on one or two hands that we have encountered places that only spoke German and we couldn't communicate through English. The German people as a general... Yeah, again, I never ran into any of those situations where you, you ran into some place where they couldn't speak any English. Uh, I, I, you know, a lot of people spoke English or at least some, had somebody there who could speak English. Rule speak fantastic English. Again, not saying you don't come across situations where people don't speak English. This happened to me literally yesterday at the auto mechanic in our major city. But if we had to choose one area that we did struggle the most with speaking was on a somewhat recent trip to Dresden. This does fit the former Eastern Germany divide, but overall, with a little bit of German and their little bit of English and a whole lot of grace for each other, we were able to easily communicate still. There also can be a notable difference between if you are talking to a young person or an older person, say over the age of 50 or 60. Younger people do tend to speak more fluently English than older generations. All in all, from former non-German speakers and native English speakers like us who have traveled all over Germany, generally you don't have to worry about not having English speakers primarily in the tourist locations and larger communities. In fact, a German politician in 2017 was quoted as saying in an interview with a German newspaper, I am increasingly bothered that in some Berlin restaurants, the waitress only speaks English. We Again, that, 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 that's, that's a little bit different because like I said, if you're in Germany, you need to be able to speak German. And if the waitress only speaks English, that's, <laughs> that's different. That, 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 that's unique. But uh, no, I, again, I, I had no problems getting by in Germany with speaking English. It was, it was very easy to converse with a lot of different people. We have found that to be the case in some parts of the large internationally diverse cities like Berlin, where sometimes you do think you hear more English than German being spoken. This primarily is because you have people from all around the world living in these specific parts of Germany, and English is the common language for business, so a lot of people default to this language. But way out in rural parts of Germany or in smaller villages, you're more likely to come across non-English speakers, of course. That makes sense because you're talking about business and English is the primary language of business, but in the rural places, most people speak German. That makes sense. When we are asked the question if we have picked up the language through immersion, is also laughable to us now that we have been here for over a year. I guess you would think that that would be the case when you move to a country that speaks a completely different language and you are constantly surrounded by it, but 
it isn't the case. For sure, we do pick up a little bit, but again, Germans speak such great English generally, and they are so efficient that when they realize you don't speak German, they will just get right into English to move the conversation along. It actually can sometimes be really frustrating for us who are truly putting in the effort into learning a language when we speak German, and all they do is hear our accent and immediately switch to English though. It can be a bit demoralizing when you ask yourself, am I this bad at German? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that would be, if you're trying, to, you're trying to speak German, you might have to say, hey, can we try this in German? So I'm trying to learn German. Let me get my German uh, going. Good. Like, I, again, I, I don't know any German. I know uh, Danke, Vita, uh, you know, little things like that, you know, uh, Achtung, uh, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that, 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 that's, I, I need to, you know, if I, if I, if I want to go to German, I want to learn, learn a little bit of German. Uh, a little bit more German than I, than I know, but yeah, that, that would be a problem that they immediately switch to English, but we also realize German is a very difficult language and they are probably more used to people trying, which they definitely appreciate, but they figure you learned a few phrases and it would just be easier if both parties just spoke English. Yeah, that's, again, that, that's another thing is that the, the, as long as the effort is there to try and speak the native language, that I think goes a long way. I think it goes a long way in Paris too. If you make an effort to speak the French language instead of just speaking English, you know, you know, you know, out of the blue, just make an effort, an, an, an effort to speak the language, it, it goes a long way. Here is an interesting question that we have been dissecting when all of our German acquaintances have been speaking English to us. And now they will all feel nervous speaking to us. But do Germans speak the Queen's English or American English? We must address that one of the big reasons why English has especially become so widely spoken is of course it being a common language for business and travel, but also American media has had a major impact on especially yeah, because you get you can get CNN in Germany. I mean that that's I mean that was the only language that kept, channel I could ever watch that I could understand. I mean they had you could watch uh, uh, the World Cup and they had like three different channels which were coasting the World Cup, which is different in the United States. But they all spoke German, obviously. But CNN was 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 available for you to watch in English if you wanted to. The young people speaking English in Germany. Anybody ever heard Ramstein's We're All Living in America? Nowadays, when we drive our car, the radio is primarily American pop music, and there will be some sprinkled in German songs and sometimes other international music. And the top 10 shows and movies on German Netflix also stays fairly consistently American television or movies. Because of these media influences, we feel like we notice that most Germans speak English with an American accent. Of course, this sounds ridiculous because they obviously have German accents when they speak English and it is very endearing. But we do notice a lot of words pronounced the American way. Specific examples would be English words that end in R like water. The British say it more like water and Americans are huge on pronouncing that R in water. What's interesting is in German, German words that end in R are more closely pronounced like the British without R's, but we usually hear Germans trying to hit that R on the end of water when speaking English, just like in America. Yeah, that, 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 that would make sense because like I said, now Netflix wasn't uh, big back in 2006 when I was there, but yeah, that, 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 that would make sense uh, that the Germans would pick up the American from, from watching Netflix if the top five shows are an American and then they would, it would be more English, more English like that American would speak than a German would speak. Would. However, to make it more interesting, although they seem to speak and pronounce like an American, they use a ton of British words that we must even stop and think about sometimes. Examples being WC for what in American English is a bathroom, or flat for an apartment, or a zebra for a crosswalk. What we have heard is that British English is actually what is taught in schools and that is therefore the vocabulary that Germans learn. With the combination of learning British English in the schools but the influence of pronunciation of American English in media, you end up with the perfect melding of the two it is something that is not one or the other, but is actually both at the same time. It Again, that is that is interesting. You, 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 an apartment in the United States is called a flat. 
a zebra on crosswalks. So that that yeah, okay, that makes make it makes some sense. I mean, I, I guess um, if you're speaking the British version of English and taught in school versus the American versus what you watch on TV, yeah, I could see where you could get the uh, combination. It's been a lot of fun because now we find ourselves using some British English phrases strictly because it is what Germans seem to be commonly using and know. But we would never use these when we speak American English. To sum up what we are trying to say, if you don't speak German and you want to move or travel in Germany, will you be okay? In most instances, yes but we would highly encourage you to learn it. It will make your time more enjoyable, easier, and more respectful to the culture you are coming into. Also, don't be thrown off by the German-American accents paired with British vocabulary. And finally, why does Australian English always get left out? Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit that bell icon so you can be notified every yeah, do the same for me. Please click like, share, and subscribe for me as well as hit the bell notification. I would appreciate it. Uh, but uh, this is this was good. Uh, Passport two English words Americans uh, learning learn living in Germany again. It it uh, when I was there, it a lot of people spoke English. You could get a right a way around speaking English. But as long as you made some effort to speak the German language, Danke, and you know and things like that. Uh, it, it, it went a long way. You know, I, I, I talked about, I've talked about in the previous video about the ugly American. Do you, none of that, 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 that nonsense that I, that I pulled, but just make the, an honest effort to speak the language and, uh, and, and, and get along, you know, if, if everything worked fine, but uh, please click like, share, and subscribe again for Passport 2. Like, share, and subscribe for me. I would appreciate it right down there. Uh, and I would appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.